All right, I fucking bend it. So this is actually a very nerve-wracking time for me. Um, winding back, about six months I bought my first FPV drone, a Cloud 149, Reptile Cloud 149. It's the uh, FPV drone of a type called a Cine Whoop, which is basically a FPV drone designed for slow, controlled shooting. And I thought, this is something I'm going to learn, it'll be real easy. And I took it to the park, and on its very first flight, the very first time I got it off the ground, I it flew away and I lost it forever. So welcome to a rather momentous occasion. This is what will hopefully be the maiden flight of my Reptile Cloud 149 FPV drone. It's been a hard road to get here. Um, everything's held together with tag ties. I'm on my second receiver. I've downloaded, I've updated, I've read and I've misunderstood and quite frankly I don't have huge hopes of success. So here is the Reptile Cloud 149. Alright, so classic false start. It appears that I had the props on backwards. I've uh... Alright, we had a, actually had takeoff and an immediate crash, but let's try and actually get a hover going. Alright, I fucking bend it. So now, months later, I bought a second one. I practiced in the simulator, I practiced in my backyard. But now it's time to get it back out to where I lost the first one and try again. And uh, I think there's a real, real, real chance that the same thing will happen, but let's see. So I'm here in Torella Park in Sydney. Um, it's one of those beautiful, clear winter's days that it's always really nice, it's kind of cool, kind of crisp. There's a slight wind, not nearly as much as when I lost it. And I got myself wondering whether that even matters when you can't fly for shit. No amount of wind is going to stop you from just nose diving into the ground from being terrible at flying. But we'll see. We'll see. So the last time I launched it was right there in that corner near that power pole. The drone flew completely back over those houses. Um, hung in the air for a good five minutes. Um, one thing I'm not gonna do is launch near there anymore. This looks like a better place. I didn't kill it. That's a start. So last flight thing I didn't mention is that I put my uh, nearly unused Yi 4K plus action camera on there and that was probably the most expensive consequence of losing that drone was losing that camera. And now I have my beautiful DJI Osmo action camera that I bought to maybe put along and have a quick flight with and record that first flight. And I'm kind of scared to put it on but uh, I have at least some record of today for this next pack, so let's give that a go, shall we? Alright, so, first flight with the camera down. Wow, it's actually, it flew really smooth. I gotta say, 
that it's easier than the simulator from my experience. <sighs> Hello. I've got two angles now. So yeah, um, that was really smooth and quite easy. I can see how people kind of get overconfident and uh, end up crashing too soon. But um, for me, I think I'm going to keep that caution a little longer. But I would say that's a success. And um, I want to quit when I'm ahead now and uh, aim for bigger and better things next. All right. Phase one over. All right, well, I just want to uh, reflect on a couple of things I learned so far. The parts I bought, I bought three batteries. Um, each of those battery packs, so the small battery pack, the A850 million power, seemed to last about four minutes. And then the uh, 1300 one that I was using second, with the GoPro on it, probably lasted about six, seven minutes. I was flying using the FSIA6 Flysky controller, and one of the cool things about that is that when I was doing the simulator training in Velocidrone, even though it's an old controller, like probably one of the cheapest ones, it's got no USB, it's got some crazy weird nine point jack on the back, but what you can do is hook the drone up, uh, a little tweak in Betaflight, um, which I can put in a link, and then you can use it, basically use the accelerometer as a joystick and just have the drone sitting on your desk and fly the simulator that way using your actual controller without buying any peripherals, which was super handy and basically, I think, responsible for me not crashing then. Um, Velocidrone is the simulator I've been using. It's the most expensive one, it was 30 bucks. Um, but it's actually pretty fun, incredibly hard. Uh, the, the jump in difficulty from the opening track they put you on with pylons to, say, the Stage 3 track is... 200% and like I want to just to be clear I've been a lifelong gamer I probably took me 40 40 crashes to get one lap done on the first uh, track I mean I'm an idiot but if you're less of an idiot than me then you can still expect 20 25 goes uh, before you even start to get the hang of it because it's weird um, and that probably is a good bridge to saying that I'm flying mode 2 um, no, mode one. I'm flying mode one. Because we're in Australia and everything that you get sent here is mode one. I don't know what the point of mode one is, but in mode one, on the right stick is throttle and aileron, so tilt. And then on the, on the left stick is front, forwards and back tilt and yaw, so rotation on a plane. Um, and that is apparently unusual. Normally you fly with throttle and yaw on the same stick. And I don't know why Australia has it different, but I kind of like it just because um, having the rotate in the same place as it is on a DJI drone uh, is at least one thing that I could use my muscle memory from flying other drones before. Otherwise, it's pretty much very different. Um, yeah, and the only other thing is uh, I didn't really notice that much difference when I had the GoPro on from its characteristics as before. Um, like in momentum in the air, but then again, I'm flying pretty slow, but keen to have a look at that footage, see how it turned out, see whether an ND filter and a lower shutter speed might make it a bit smoother, see what the... It felt pretty smooth. And uh, the sound is an adducted FPV. is ridiculous. It's like a turbo jet. But we'll see how that looks. Anyway, part one, over. Alright, so welcome to the Blue Mountains. We're at uh, Lawson Former Golf Course. I say former because uh, I don't know how long ago it was a former golf course, but uh, you can still see here the bunkers and sand traps and what have you. Anyway, uh, perfect place um, on this family trip to have my second flight. There's a lot of dogs around, but there's also maybe some things I can maybe try for my first gap. Is that too ambitious? Probably. One thing I'm kind of overly aware of is that these things are so loud that I really want to get away from everybody before I take off. So this looks like a nice little bit of social distance. Plus I also want to be away from trees because, you know, it's not very good yet. Alright, so here goes round two. So that last mission involved going through what is actually probably rather large tree gaps, but I gotta tell you, they feel kind of small when you're going through on the drone. And I did manage to brush that tree over there, but the drone wasn't bothered, so I'll try again. When this is cleared, I'll um, try and do some figure eights through those trees and 
see whether I can't keep those ducts intact. Oh, I didn't mention. <laughs> little drone has had a bit of a, a repair here on its duct. Um, I managed to smash into some obstacles in my backyard while practicing. So I've repaired it with epoxy and then just kind of reinforced it with a bit of gaffer tape. So let's see how that holds up. So far, so good. All right, so that's pretty exciting. <laughs> There's a small tree there. <laughs> no problems. <laughs> That's yours, is it? Where was it? It's just here. Oh. Is it smashed? No, the battery pack had come oh, off. Yeah. Oh, that's why, I that's why I couldn't find it. I was just trying to put it, the battery back on, so uh, I thought that would... Oh, fantastic. Oh, it's still recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it took a little dive, but it looks like it's okay. It's not even broken. Oh, thanks so much. You made my day. I've got to run back to my wife now. She's angry with me. Karma never stops. Um, as I was trying to, um, as I was trying to fly away from a dog that was chasing me, I uh, flew too far away. I lost signal and <laughs> binned it and I lost the drone. And because I binned it so hard, the battery flew out. So the beep indicator was out and I just couldn't see it. So I've just been here hunting around, kicking myself for losing my second drone. Uh, but then a, a nice man found it and some kids were helping me look and it's still recording and it's not even damaged so uh, Charlie here helped a lot Yeah, I did because I was running away and I thought it was someone else's drone but instead I asked the old man and, and he found the spot where the drone was Okay, we anyway, did, we did find the drone we, so all swell that ends we, well We did find the drone but until we found it Dad was impressed to be happy because he did not know where it was. <laughs> yeah, that sums it up pretty well. Anyway, I've got it now. Now we can return home.